Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com, and today we're going to take a look at the Windsor & Newton Pro Marker Skin Tone Set. There are six markers in this set, but nearly 150 in the entire line of Pro Markers made by Windsor & Newton. These markers are manufactured in China. If you go to the Windsor & Newton website and you look up Pro Marker, you can see the entire line of colors here. Nearly 100 and... Uh, 50 colors. I think there's 148 total in the line and they come in a variety of different uh, blister pack sizes and things like that. You can see there's a couple of examples at the bottom of the web page. One thing to keep in mind is these pro markers are alcohol based so if you plan to use them on a regular sketchbook or normal sketchbook type paper you, you want to put a page between the marks you make and the next page otherwise you're going to get a little bit of a bleed through. So the markers come in two different tips, a fine tip and as you see here a broader tip. I'll swatch out these colors really quickly. You can stop the video and look at these swatches if you're very interested. But I'm also really just going to put them to the test in actual drawings today. I'll use a photo reference here but I'll start out just drawing a, a woman smoking a cigarette here um, and later on talk about the book that I used the photo reference from which is very interesting as well. So right here it's just a light pencil outline and then I'll use all of the six colors in the set to do my drawings today. Here are the colors. There's ivory, almond, satin, putty, soft peach, and coral. Those are the colors that I'll use today in the drawings that you'll see. Well, one down, and I wanted to do a couple more drawings from this book, The Comic Artist's Essential Photo Reference. I picked this up at Half Price Books. It's written by a guy named Buddy Scalara, and it's just an excellent photo reference book. It's illustrated with great photographs of different poses and expressions, and it's a very a uh, good place to start. Here's some information and I'll also drop a link down in the description where you can pick this book up if you'd like. Anyway, I found a good photo reference to start with and um, begin to do a little drawing. There's a guy named Peter Draws and I've um, given him a shout out. He's on uh, YouTube as well and has his own channel, but one of the th cool things he does is sometimes he, he's read poetry while he draws. So that's just what I'm going to do right now. If you've never heard of a poet called Walt Whitman, you should go out right now and try to pick up his extraordinary book of poetry called Leaves of Grass. Walt Whitman wrote that book back in the 19th century or 1800s, and it is filled with wonderful, wonderful poetry and great philosophies on life. This is from the preface of the book Leaves of Grass. This is what you shall do. Love the earth and sun and the animals. Despise riches. Give alms to everyone that asks. 
Stand up for the stupid and crazy. Devote your income and labor to others. Hate tyrants. Argue not concerning God. Have patience and indulgence toward the people. Take off your hat to nothing known or unknown or to any man or number of men. Go freely with the powerful, uneducated persons and with the young and with the mothers of families. Read these leaves in the open air every season of every year of your life. Re-examine all that you have been told at school or church or in any book and dismiss whatever insults your own soul and your very flesh shall be a great poem and have the richest fluency, not only in its words, but in the silent lines of its lips and face and between the lashes of your eyes and in every motion and joint of your body. Those words by Walt Whitman in the preface to Leaves of Grass. And now it's time to take a look at the featured artist, Michael Carrican. Michael Carrican is a native of Minnesota, at least uh, I believe he is, he lives here, and um, he's just an extraordinary painter and somebody that was introduced to me by my uh, one of my art teachers and mentors, Amy Sands. And when I was going to school, um, one of the art classes I took, Amy was teaching that class and she introduced me to this extraordinary artist. And although these are his oil paintings right here that you're going to see, the thing that drew me almost immediately to Michael Carrican's work was these beautifully uh, rendered pencil drawings. They're actually, this is like Conte on a, on a material called Duralar, which is like a, it's like a polyester paper. And it's really an extraordinary paper. I've used it before and it's just fantastic. But you can see the detail in his drawings and yet he doesn't overwork it or try to make it what it isn't. Um, uh, so here he does some extraordinary things like just go out to um, uh, these amazing places like junkyards or buildings that are being torn down and things like that. And then he he takes photographs and then from those photographic references he builds these great drawings. Now some of these drawings are ginormous drawings, just huge, incredibly large drawings. Um, the one with the the bottles in it is one that comes to mind. It's just huge. I got to see one of his pieces uh, uh, several times, uh, at once at the MIA, which is the Minneapolis Institute of Art, but also at a place uh, called the Minnesota Historical Society, and I was downstairs touring their archives and in the basement and against one of the walls sat a very large Michael Carrican drawing and um, I'll show you that in a minute but it was just the minute I looked at it I just couldn't um, help but fall in love with uh, his pieces. You can see here this oil painting of this I think this is an old Ford just in the junkyard but it's pretty incredible um, the work he's able to do and I just find all of his work really, really interesting. But what's really amazing is that he's able to capture motion. Now, you see these large magnets um, here, right here. This this is the, I saw the Conte drawing of this in the Historical Society, but this is just an amazing, it might have actually been the painting now that I think about it, but it's just amazing that these, paintings and drawings he does shows this motion in it and um, although this this is of junk in a junkyard he just renders it beautifully and gives it life and I think that's an amazing talent all on its own. Now Michael Carrican is not a like um, a hidden gem sort of you know unnoticed artist. He's actually I think got some some fame and uh, and even the local um, public uh, TV station has done a few segments on him, or at least one. It's called Minnesota Original, and I'll put a link in the description. You can go and check that out. But I really encourage you to go and take a look at his work. Now, here's some more of what you would call um, 
maybe more mainstream work where it's just you know people and places again this like dural are um conte on dural are pencil um on paper charcoal it just beautiful drawings look at, look at just tornadoes you know it's cool to capture that especially in in charcoal i think it's really neat and the effects you get it's kind of reminds me of a stormy weather anyway just charcoal in general but um that's for another video but this is just uh, great work and here's michael and you can read about him he's got i think a national following but certainly a local one and there's there was an essay written about him and it's right here on his website and i'll show you that in a second but um, the website discusses his process it discusses his inspiration and there's a lot about him in this website that you can learn and i think it's a good read it's not that long and if you get a chance you should check it out um just an amazing artist and uh and and then here's see the motion in that magnet that's all duralar and on that duralar paper i just think it's uh pretty pretty cool so go check out michael Carrican. i'll put all the stuff uh links to his stuff and the videos on him down in the description of the video well, that just about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and I love to hear from you guys, so please leave me a comment. If you get a chance, pop over to my website, zoom down on the page, look over on the right-hand side there, and click the blue follow button and join these other good folks. And about once a month, you'll get a little note that says I've posted something new on the webpage. So thanks for stopping by and taking a look at the Windsor & Newton Pro Markers and Michael Carrickin's work. So long, everybody. Have a great day. This has been Marty for OingsArt.com. Don't forget to check out OingsArt.com.